Welcome to section three of the course. In this section, we're gonna be taking a look at symmetrical components. Now that we've talked about phasers and polarity, let's jump into symmetrical components. So of course, we're gonna begin by giving just an introduction to symmetrical components, and then we're gonna move into talking about the positive, negative, and zero sequence sets, as well as taking a look at some examples on how we can use symmetrical components for analyzing unbalanced faults in power system. So again, let's jump on the computer and let's give an introduction to symmetrical components. So the symmetrical components tool is a tool that allows us to decompose an unbalanced set of three phase vectors into three different sets of balanced three phase vectors. And it is commonly used in three phase power systems for this reason, to decompose an unbalanced set of fault currents and fault voltages into balanced sets. So for this reason, it is very useful since during power system faults, fault currents and voltages are often unbalanced and decomposing them into balanced sets makes the analysis a lot easier. So for this reason then, the symmetrical components tool is very useful and it's of utmost importance in protective relaying and power system protection in general. So let's say for example that you had a set of three phase vectors that looks like this. So we had maybe the A phase current over here we had maybe the B phase current over here, so different magnitude. And then we had the C phase, let's say, over here. So A, B, and C currents. And you can clearly see here that they're not balanced, meaning that they don't have the same magnitude. So B looks a little bit larger than A, and A looks a little bit larger than C. And they're not spaced out 120 degrees apart from each other as we saw previously for a balanced set of three phase vectors. So this again is what we would call an unbalanced. So let me write it over here, unbalanced set of three phase phasers. And again, when we say unbalanced, what we mean is that they don't have the same magnitude between each other and they're not spaced 120 degrees apart. So what the symmetrical components tool does is it decomposes this set of three phase vectors into three different sets of balanced three phase vectors. So again, we're going to have, and let me actually switch colors to blue. We're going to decompose this set into the three following sets. So we're going to have a positive sequence set. So that's going to be Again, a balanced set of three phase vectors. So I'm trying to draw these to scale, but they all basically have the same magnitude. So this would be the positive sequence A current, positive sequence B current, and positive sequence C current. Now notice here again that if we're rotating in the counterclockwise direction, we have an ABC rotation system. So again, if our system is ABC rotation, then the positive sequence set also rotates in the ABC direction. Now the negative sequence set, and let me switch colors to, let's do green. The negative sequence set is also going to be balanced. So we're going to have one phaser over here, one over here 120 degrees apart, and another one over here 120 degrees apart. And again, all of these have the same magnitude. So I'm trying to draw them by hand as if they have the same magnitude, but just assume that they have the same magnitude. Now in here for the negative sequence set, we're going to have the negative sequence A phase current. But again, for an ABC rotation system, the negative sequence set is going to rotate in the opposite direction. So what that means then is that this current over here, instead of being the B phase, like in the positive sequence set, this is going to be AC, or rather IC negative sequence, and this is going to be IB negative sequence. So notice that between the positive and the negative sequence sets, the locations of the B and the C phases are opposite to each other. So in other words, for the, again, for the positive sequence set, that set rotates in the same direction or with the same phase rotation as the actual system. So if we have an ABC rotation system, then the positive sequence set also rotates with an ABC rotation. Now the negative sequence set rotates with an opposite rotation than that of the nominal system. 
So if we have an ABC system, then the negative sequence set would have an ACB rotation. Now, likewise, of course, if we had an ACB rotation system, in other words, if our system was defined as an ACB rotation system, then the positive sequence will rotate in the ACB rotation, meaning the same as the nominal system, and then the negative sequence will rotate in the opposite direction, so ABC for an ACB system. So hopefully that makes sense. What I'm trying to say here is that, again, the positive sequence sets rotates in the same, or rather has the same phase rotation as the nominal system rotation, and the negative sequence set has the opposite rotation as the nominal system. So again, for this course, we're assuming we're going to have ABC rotation systems. So in this case, the positive sequence set is going to have an ABC rotation. And the negative sequence set is going to have an ACB rotation. Now, the reason why I'm repeating this a couple times is because I want to make the difference between the rotation of the negative sequence set is not an ACB rotation system. Is that for a ABC rotation system, the negative sequence is going to rotate in the opposite direction, which essentially would be like an ACB rotation system. But, but that doesn't mean that we're going to somehow have an ACB system per se. So hopefully that makes sense. And then lastly, the zero sequence set is going to be a set where all the three phases are going to have the same magnitude and same phase angle. So in here, IA0 would be equal to IB0, which would be equal to IC0. Now again, let me get rid of this because I don't want to confuse the fact from the nominal system rotations and the rotations of the positive and negative sequence sets. But I just want to make the point that for an ABC rotation system, the negative sequence set looks like an ACB rotation system, but again, it's not an ACB system. So again, in here, this would be the positive sequence over here, positive sequence. This would be the negative sequence. And this would be the zero sequence sets. Now, I'm running down here currents, but of course, this also applies to voltages. Now, one important point to make as well is that for voltages, again, we're going to have the same thing. So we could say that this could be, for example, VA1, this could be VB1, this could be VC1. So same thing applies for voltages, but one point that I wanted to make is that these are the phase to neutral voltages, not the phase to phase voltages. So typically in power systems, we're given voltages in phase to phase because it's a three phase system. But when we're talking about symmetrical components, those are always in phase to neutral voltages. So just one more important point to make. All right, so next let's take a look at the positive, negative, and zero sequence sets in a little bit more detail.